Morning everyone, welcome to Road Road at Restore. I'm John. And in this video we will be working on a Ford Focus Mark II 1600 Petrol 2007. Uh, and what was happening with it was it was losing water. But uh, this is the header tank sitting under the bonnet. And every time you could see like a little drip of coolant on here under this lip. I know there is like an expansion overflow just there but that was always dry so we took it off and we could see that there is hopefully you can see it in this light there is a crack there like an airline crack and on that joint there there is also an airline crack So we will be replacing this with this. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay, so I'll just use these to uh, get these clips off these two pipes. Uh, remember which pipe goes where the higher pipe goes to the left the pliers to twist them break the seal Find an old margarine tub or something to stick underneath it. Just to catch any water. We try and get a uh, tool onto the big clip. That's it. Put the seal on the pipe. Here we go. Try and get this out of the way without spilling it. Okay, so if you can see just there, there's like a little tab. This bottle just pulls off it. And there's also one down the back here. So now I've got the knife down the back of it, it should lift out. There we go. Okay, so that's the old one. We can look a bit suspect there. See that split? Looks like there's one there as well. So anyway, let's get the new one out. Alright. What's it called? There we are, nice new shiny one. And we test that one. It's got a crack under it. Is that a oh yeah, it's leaking out of here. What is it leaking from? At the top. Oh. <laughs> So it has got a crack in, John? Yeah. Come on. Okay then, so 
these thick things we just slide back on to hopefully you could see them now look like there there we are that one that's the dead one just there then stop that on that one on the back water. That's it. That's that on. Now we can put the uh, big pipe back on. Close the clamp up. Okay, so this is in a bit of an awkward position, but uh, maybe I should have done it before I forced the bottle back on. Anyway, let's uh, have another go. Not a bit. Uh, that's it. About there. there we go. So that's that one on. It's these two. Uh, the top pipe, put that back in that bracket. Bottom pipe went on that one, top pipe went on that one. Don't tell me that. The pipes are too thin. That's the trouble when you buy pattern parts. Look how small those pipes are compared to them. They're a lot thinner. So, can we get that on there, do you think? Send that back and get a replacement. Okay, morning everyone. This is a few days later. Postman has been yet again. Uh, this is the old one, still got it. We really did get quite a good deal on it. We went to send it back and a uh, seller got in contact with us and says because of the expense of posting back and stuff. Will we take £4.80 and keep the bottle so we can sell it on? So we said yes. So that wasn't a bad deal. Yeah, uh, this is the new one. Well, that's a new one. It's just the newer new one. And as you can probably see, where are we? Yeah, the pipes. Those pipes. They look. They're the ones we want. I think that's for the Mark III. So, if anybody needs a new bottle for the Mark III, it's yours. So, anyway, let's go and get it on the car. Okay then, so where we are back at the car, there's the new tank with the right pipes. Uh, I find it easier to put the pipes on before I put the bottle in, so that's what I'm going to do. And the bottle just slides on that one and that one at the back, and they just lock onto there. 
Okay, so I'll put the big one on first because it's still got fluid in it. Coolant. on it best you can. Make sure it's on properly and make sure you don't get your skin trapped underneath it because these pliers can slip off. There we go, that's that one. Then we've got these two which go into this clip. Push them back into there. to the right hole. So push that on there. Push that one on there. I don't know if you can see but these have got little grooves in. And they just go onto that notch there so they go fully on. Push it all the way on. Make sure it goes into the notch like so. Best we can. There we go. Same with the other one. push the bottom back onto these tabs. Yes, and they're, on this one they are quite a tight fit. So use the wooden part of the hammer to try and whack it on. There we go. That's that one. That's that back one in. Always top it up with the same antifreeze and the recommended antifreeze. There's the minimum mark and there's the maximum mark. for me. So put your cap on until it locks into place. There we go. That's it. Job done. Okay so there you go. How I fitted my expansion tank to my Ford Focus. Yes a pretty easy job really but uh, I must say I am not a mechanic and these are not how to videos are just my sharing videos because I like to make films and I like to share them. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, hope it's been helpful and stay well and stay safe and I'll see you and on the next one. I see you in another life, brother.